Dark Darkzero will start on attack, and Consulate will be the theme for match one. All right, pretty interesting map. I can already predict some of the bands, the operators that are going to come out here. Mm -hmm. Possibly an IQ, most likely a Valkyrie. Thatcher also counters the mute jammers that when you're defending basement or upstairs can reach that main floor. So that's a smart pick. And like I said, it took Orgos quite a while to come up with that ban. And projector, this is a very powerful Reloading. position. You'll have to forfeit and Nyx, what a shot. That's an absolutely incredible one. And Darks here will add to that with Mint picking off of a man, leaving Orgos with two bodies inside of Projector. 40 seconds, you get the Attack diffuser the down. The Maestro is going to push all the way up. Nyx is there still holding Connector with a great angle. You've seen that crazy drop down below. So obviously using the drop hatch that was available and he won't get too far as Mint is holding Zulu down below. And has a great one, the Diffuser being just out of reach, but Nyx is going to walk in. There's no coverage from Long Desk. Two bodies. Yeah, Pojaman just allowed to move through. And of course, the Axe just allowed to get a free kill. Jarvis will get one as well as Mint. And yet again, Orgless on the back foot. Lesions, the Goo Mines have all been shut down. And Yeti is going to try to find the leg of Pojaman here. He's actually barely pushed up and he'll find one kill. Pojaman is still low on health. And Yeti pushes up. He'll find two kills off of it. He turns into 1v1. Mint on his own on the AQ, but Yeti trying to decide if he goes for the fuse or not. You see the AQ on the outside holding by the spiral staircase, but Yeti does not know that. We'll try to peek on the outside. He find the AQ, but no, Mint! We'll grab the kill and find the headshot. That's all it took. Dark Zero, the beautiful execution, came very close for Uglis to retake, but again, could make it's work the of those post panels. Point. Yeah, and here's the thing, though. If, if you're... Here, Dark Zero. Oh no, Nyx will find the first kill. Ay, ay, ay. Just standing on his own in the window. All the information will be going in Orgos' favor though. They just need to wait and greet everybody from Dark Zero. Acid with three kills. He gets rewarded. Hot and cold pulls out the shotgun. And Crazy, far back, will need to help. But nobody has the diffuser. It's dropped far away. And what a misplay from Dark Zero, who made the call with 30 seconds to go. Take control of the bottom floor and is in towards the cafeteria. He's gonna catch the man. The Pulse is trying to get away, doesn't expect somebody to be there, and Nyx just flew in on his own. Didn't he? Nyx is actually taking control of the back spiral stairs. Oh no, hot and cold. Get that aggressive, but Jarvis picks up a freebie on the acid. Not much left. Brian, a counter punch. Brian's there for two with the SMG 11 up top. Onto the balcony, an excellent job to eliminate both Pojo and Hot and Cold. These three ACOGs on the board, looking for frags. Oh, Mint almost missing his shots on the crazy, but Brian realizes he just needs to get out of dodge. The smoke, Brian, keep in mind, has every single kill, but he'll be shut down on three as Mint cleans up and Dark Zero takes their third and four rounds. Diffuser down every time, and a really good recovery and a great call from Dark Zero to go frag hunting upstairs. Dark side of the moon, as they would say. Darks here in the meantime. Oh no, Brian, no, peeks out right into hot and cold. He gets shot down by the Jackal. Smokes have already been used. This might signal the push. This poster man gets one more. Yeti on the cross. On all his own, he'll find one kill on hot and cold. The fuse is being set in the back, but Pojo Man is ready for him. And the usual heart breacher is gonna get C4. Yes! Crazy will connect. 2v1. No nitro cell left. A minute on the clock. Crazy has to be very cautious. I'll find the headshot on mint. Take him out. He has control of Hello stairs for now. He knows that Jarvis just moved right into those CEO chambers. It's all up to Crazy Dark to do this. He should have information on the plant and it is going down right before the reinforced wall. Her fire into the buck. Less damage done to Jarvis and actually down him and take him out of Crazy with a beautiful clutch using every single advantage to his side. And he knows the plant's going behind the reinforced Bond wall. Uses it by the advantage. Usually teams will reinforce that soft wall. In. There's no one on site. Take a gander across both A and B. And DZ is shutting Orgless out right now. There's still over a minute left to play. And my man and Crazy are both helplessly up top. Inside of servers, that's where Crazy my man will look. But Pojo holding the doorway, guarding his diffuser like a mother guards her nest. His drivers will finish things off. And Tark Zero. Absolutely impressive comeback from that previous round, and they'll take the first half four to two. Like I said, five diffusers they down. So Pojo Man will have to fall back. The perfect grenade timing for my man to take him out. And an excellent flush out there. On now, one thing also to keep in mind with the way this clash is playing: this hot and cold picks up a big frag, looks for a second, he's going to get it, but there's another body. All of Orglis right now are apparently coming towards the yellow stairs, but trying to smoke them out is hot and cold. Will peek on up. He's gonna take down Crazy and pick up a second as he gets what little was left. The two family members trying to keep everybody in play. Whoa! And who knows that you need those changes. Nick does it, Diffuser goes down for Orglis and right as that happens. It's Nick who sheathes the shield. 
from the throw. And Acid will actually opt out of this slower playstyle and just move up. He'll down the Legion and take him out. But the PMM, she's back as Pojaman will find him. Yeti will take down Mitten as this uh, puts it all on Pojaman. The mana was hacked early on. I have to clutch this round. He gets one kill. Three more to go. Crazy's already on the floor. Shotgun's in hand. Pojaman trying to use the smoke to his advantage here. He's trying to cover for himself. Orgus are still not in position for this. It takes five seconds or seven seconds to get that diffuser taken out. But Yeti comes in and cleans up Pojaman. Unfortunately, on a pre-placed drone. And Zofia will try to contest, but he'll win it out. And oof, find the headshot on Yeti. But so little HP left for Dark Zero. The Buck is watching from above as Brian will go in for the plant and Asset even providing Overwatch Evil Eye on its own. Brian, my man, the last, final last two as Dark Zero kind of out of options in that situation. All shot down as Dark Zero put themselves on match match point. With them, the grenades is dropped and will it do damage? Yes, it will. But not really enough to down a Pojo Man. It's crazy. I'll actually find him and take him out. So, all things considered, bomb located by attack. Yellow control as well was what Orcus needed. They were at the finally well. Or Dark Zero. But look! Oh! oh! Hot and cold picks up two, looking for a third, but he turns away. The oh! Last second of four! Oh! A fifth! <laughs> Line him up, knock him down! Hot and cold takes four on Yellow Stairs, and Brian on the roof says, Well, what the hell do I do what? now? Oh, he won't. This is. Save the op. The disrespect to not to get oh, hot and cold man. the ace. Brian will just sit upstairs and save, which doesn't mean anything. Five but. Remain. There we go, he's back. <laughs> I can't believe he's actually doing it. Operators, you're out of time. Honestly, I have to. Not not only, not only do I want to put it on the fact that opens things up and then checks. Okay, Defender no information given, and he'll find an easy tap. My man, yet again, is the first one to fall. You lose the buck. It's a lot of uh, potential soft reach here has been taken down, but it is going to be looking for a second. Jarvis just goes on by. He sees the Zofia. He'll get the kill. Yeti's too late to the party, and Jarvis will spoil it by taking out Crazy, leaving Brian and Aston to take control of the site. It'll work out, though. But Brian from above taking quite a bit of damage. Oh! Mint unsheaths the C7 and takes out Yeti. Brian falls as well, and Aston will be in a 2v1. As a glass, not exactly the position you want to find yourself in, especially in a post plant as the diffuser yet again goes down. Acid playing by the car, about to engage in a long-range fight. Keep in mind that there is, an a there is an ACOG in the hands of Maestro. But two bodies, and that'll be all she wrote. Dark the Zero, what improvement of fortunes. As Mint will finish off Acid, get his kill. The Hot and Cold has plenty of time to be able to grab the Diffuser as well. That's a heartbreaker for Orglis after they come so close on a number of rounds. But great Defenders individual win. performances from Dark Zero. Will end up being the story, and DZ will win it. 7-4. Yeah, and I have to say, at that final round, if you're watching now and you're wondering how did the glass get shot, well, he was beh standing behind the car, and what is below the car? There's an open space. Well, when you want to win the round, that's what you got to do, and the glass got taken out. That was round at the end. And, you know, you can see Hot and Cold, the Poja Man, even Jarvis, basically everybody from Dark Zero putting up uh, kills on the board. Just Anywho, we have an interview ready with Dark Zero. We'll ask them their thoughts on that matchup and everything that happened involving them versus Orglis. We'll bring it up for you here. Nix, I think this is my first time interviewing you so far this season. I don't think you guys have ever won when I've been casting, so congratulations. It's nice to see you. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Um, first things first, 11 rounds were played. Nine diffusers mm -hmm. go down. What happened? Um, I think the glass play on them, like the... When they, were, when they were running glass against us, I just think it kind of caught us off guard. They, they obviously six picked at the first round, and I'm pretty sure we ended up winning that round regardless. That's when I, had my, that's when I got the double kill with Clash. But um, I guess the glass play just kind of threw us off for, for a little bit. We were getting, like, our smokes were just getting picked and just, like, stuff like that. Mistakes on our part, and, um, you know, Orglis executed uh, with the glass pretty well, so. Now, when you were attacking, you got the diffuser down in all but one round. How much of that was deliberate? How much of that was your read in game at the time of saying, hey, we have a great opportunity to get this plant down. Let's go for it immediately. Um, we just kind of feel out the game. So if we're doing a side execute and we feel like we should just be killing, you know, fragging out and uh, not getting bombed down, just keeping our guns up, then we'll just do that. Typically, it's a call from uh, men's healer to say, you know, frag out or see if you can get bombed down. So a lot of the time, I'm pretty sure it was like one piano around where me and Mint just went upstairs. We killed their guy playing CEO and then we dropped because we knew the other guy was playing meeting side. So Mint, Mint uh, had some you know excellent IGL skills this game. He was making really good calls for us and stuff that uh, allowed us to make plays on throughout the entire game. So 
Uh, there was one call in particular that I wanted to ask you about. It was the one where it was a 2v2, and you were attacking Garage. Diffuser was down over towards Yellow. You went for Frags. Deliberate call or just simply miscue and not being able to grab the Diffuser in time? Um, so what happened was Jarvis actually vaulted over the uh, over the railing, hoping that he would pick up the bomb, and he ended up just not like I guess the the UI or just like his model just did not clip the bomb at all, and um, so the call was just to go for frags at that point because we had no control of the of, uh, of the diffuser. So we, and there was only like four seconds left, we weren't going to be able to rotate fast enough to grab it. Last question: Orglis is known as an extremely aggressive team, peaking things on defense that you don't anticipate and being very mm -hmm. aggro on attack. We are currently right. in the midst of a, a meta sort of that is extremely aggressive in and of itself there are teams mm -hmm. taking peaks that are very uncharacteristic of teams that are more reserved how do you prepare for a team like orglis when you're heading into this knowing that they tend to do things on the fly and can be very hard to pin down um, so with stuff like that, it just comes down to like us knowing when to keep guns up and when to get those plants down, like we were talking about earlier. So a lot of the time they're going to be they're going to be taking fights, peaking angles that they really shouldn't be peaking. So the reason that they catch people off guard is because their guns are down. If you just keep your guns up at all times and you know um, you're trading effectively, then you're obviously going to to uh, you're going to finish up the map pretty strong. I felt like we had a really good, uh, really strong attacking side. We made a few mistakes, and in my opinion, we should have had all six attacking grounds if uh, we just level out those mistakes and just keep our guns up more and just talk more as a team. We, uh, that's a, that's a seven zero in my opinion. Well, it's a big victory for you today. And on top of that, you got your two arch rivals, the two people yeah. above you in the standing squaring off later on. I'm sure you'll yep. be watching that match quite keenly. Anything to say, any parting words at the end of the interview? Uh, I just want to say, you know, of course, thank you to all our fans. Um, we appreciate all the support that you guys have. Um, we're just going to keep focusing on ourselves and seeing what we can do throughout the rest of the season. So excellent. You got one game left. Best of luck finishing out the first half of the season. Thanks for the interview. Thank you, Inter. Thanks.